I've been working here for five years. Looking back on it now, it's been quite amazing just to think of, of the scope of everything. Robert. Diane, Victoria, miss me? When I first came here, I was absolutely desperate not to mess it up. There were huge expectations because the character had such a history in the show and it was, a, I suppose, a lot on my shoulders. But I just came in and, and tried to do what I could and be as honest as I could. And yeah, I didn't want to let anyone down, really. All I had to do was pretend to be a nasty little puffer like you and you'd have given me anything. But certainly when I first came into it, he had this dark secret that he didn't want anyone to know and he'd do anything to stop that from coming out, which I really liked. That affair that, that Katie accused him of, it was true. There was a lot of jeopardy, you know, and, uh, and, it, and it carried on for, for quite a while and then obviously ultimately left to Katie's death, which is where kind of things took a turn. I promise you it was an accident. I want you. If you just say it was an accident one more time, did he kill Katie? A lot of people, I think, you know, thought he did and probably wanted him gone and, and dead or to face justice. The relationship with Andy was, again, quite difficult. What I found interesting about it was the bitterness that he felt towards this brother that he viewed as an imposter and someone that had kind of taken all the affection of his parents and been celebrated for having the traditional values, although he wasn't biologically the son. And it, it kind of reminds me of, of things like The Lion King or, or even, you know, Hamlet, these kind of things that are universally known. So you can kind of relate to it. We see any of that. He cares about all his family and everyone that, that's close to him and he'll do anything to defend them and to protect them. Certainly one of the most fundamental shifts in the story was the kiss between Robert and Aaron. It was the moment when you saw a possible romance turn into something that sparked off, I mean, the rest of my, my time here, pretty much. One of the luckiest things that I've been able to be involved in was the underwater scene at Pinewood. That was so much fun to get to have been a car that's submerged, to then have to swim down to, to go underneath to try and find Lachlan in the boot, to play the scene as well between me and Aaron as this water's coming up. And it was incredibly technical and challenging in, in that uh, respect, but it was so much fun and something I'll, I'll never forget. It was a, a great, great memory. And, and also it was valuable in terms of storytelling. It was the moment Robert proposed to Aaron. What's that for? For you, idiot! So I can ask you to marry me! It's sad that we're not going to get to see Robert be a father to Seb. I think it was another nice side to the character that I guess we'll not get to see. Now he's going to prison for 14 years for a life sentence for murdering someone, but for really enacting revenge upon someone who was absolutely a horrible guy in the prison when Robert is ultimately saying goodbye to Aaron. I thought they were really quite touching scenes and they were very well written. It kind of felt like the right way to wrap up my journey or my time as Robert. It was really easy to forget just what this show means to people. My grandparents, my, my aunties, they were all avid watchers. And I remember as a kid at my nan's house, when it had come on, I'd, I'd go out into the garden and whatever, and, and they'd be glued to it. And every night it'd be Emmerdale's on or you know Coronation Street's on. So I, I know that these, these shows were massive parts of, of their lives. And sadly, they didn't get to see it because they passed away before I came on, on screen as Robert. I just never wanted to let anyone down. So yeah, I just gave it everything I had. And it's been an emotional journey. And um, yeah, it's very sad to leave. What are you doing? It's only going to get nicked. OK. I'll keep you safe here, I promise. <laughs> I love you so, so much. I love you too. <laughs> I've learnt so much and I just feel so much richer for having been here. Um, and I just want to say really a huge thank you to everyone who's tuned in and, and, um, and supported me for these years.